Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a male sim. One of the biggest comments I get in my comment section is, Molly, how the heck do you make male sims? Mine all look the same, I'm really struggling to get them to look realistic, their face proportions are just off, so I asked you guys both over on my Instagram and also my community page here on YouTube what you struggle with most when it comes to creating male sims. So I'm going to show you how I make mine. So how to make a male sim. You go up here and you click this icon and you say male. And there you go. There's the video guys. I'm completely joking. April Fools. <laughs> I don't have an April Fool's video, so this is my video for today. I hope you all enjoy it. I am gonna start off by downloading a male sim that I already have on my gallery. I mean, the biggest piece of advice is if you aren't comfortable in create a sim or you aren't comfortable creating a type of sim, go on to the gallery. If you have access to the Sims 4 gallery, there are some amazing creators out there who create some incredible sims. Feel free to download one. You can change them up a little bit and create a sim if you want to. Don't re-upload them though because honestly just give credit to the original creator. Do not re-upload a sim if you have downloaded it off the gallery. So we're gonna take Howard Lutz. He's an adorable sim that I just created once when I was playing around in create a sim and he also really really made me want the sims 4 university because of the way he was dressed. So the first one it's all about the face and this is the biggest complaint that I get. It's also a complaint that I myself have which is it's really hard for me to make my sims look different from one another. I've tried to excuse myself from this one by saying creating a sim is all artistic style. Every artist has a different art style that they tend to stick to, they put their craft into, they learn how to draw in that certain art form that pleases them. And truly, I do feel as if creating sims works in the exact same way. So yes, there are going to be similarities between your sims. People say it to me all the time, your sims look the same, or they put it more nicely and say, you can really see that this sim is yours because it has like the main kind of features that you usually focus on, which is a much nicer way of saying your sims all look the same. So there is no shame in your sims looking the same. Try not to feel downtrodden by that because that's the way you do that. That's the way that you create and you should be proud of the way how you create your sims. I mean, that's the biggest cop-out excuse I've ever heard, but that's what I'm putting it down to. So first off, just scrub that idea from your mind. We aren't gonna think about our sims looking the same. We're just gonna focus on the sim that's in front of us. The first thing I would suggest about your sims looking the same is look at actors or models. I tend to go on ASOS.com. Other models are available on the internet, but go to a website that has a shop and has a different range of models. I find ASOS really good because they have a lot of diverse models and there's a lot of different people modeling their clothes. So I always tend to go to ASOS. It's where I shop and also this is not a paid sponsorship. I wish it was paid by ASOS, but it isn't. Uh, so I just tend to go there and look at like the diversity that they have of the people modeling their clothes. And if I feel like it, I will create a sim based off one of those people and then you can really get into the details and like change stuff up that you don't like about it and stuff like that but that's always a great starting point so put a pin in that and let's move on to the next topic. So one of the biggest complaints that you guys seem to have was the noses and there is this mod called the more presets mod. As you can see I have a lot of presets in my game. I actually have hundreds of presets in my game, but the majority of these presets come from one mod, which is the more preset 
Pants mod, which I will try and remember to leave a link down below. Or if you just Google more presets mod for Sims 4, it will come up. Um, so basically I have all these noses to choose from. You might not find this helpful, you might just want to stick to the EA ones, but I find this super helpful when I actually want to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I always tend to stick to the same type of noses and noses really can change a sim. They definitely can. For my male sims, I tend to go more oversized on their noses and I don't know why I do that. I just feel like males faces look better with like an oversized nose. That's just the way that I create my male sims and I can't really give any pointers but it's kind of just focusing on like what you want your sim to look like. For example, Leo from my Strangerville Let's Play, I tried to make it look like he had been in fights before and had like a little bit of a broken nose. And from the front, you can't really tell a difference, but from the side, you can. So it really is about like the story that you are trying to tell with the sim. Obviously, if I wanted to keep him as his like cutesy little geeky self, that he was, I'd probably give him like a little rounded button nose like so. If I wanted to change him up a little bit, I could, but I do always tend to go a little bit oversized on my male sims noses and I also tend to drag them down quite low. That is because I also go quite low with the eyes, usually not this low on male sims, usually I'm on around the lowest setting for my females, but this is the highest setting, this is the lowest setting. I tend to stick lower than the middle. I think that's that's how I would say it. And that pretty much just helps me to keep everything in line and I definitely prefer a lower set nose for the boys. Again, just a little bit oversized. I mean, he has an adorable nose and I just think it suits male sims a lot better to have like a longer nose on them. So that's all I can really give about the nose. And then lips, again, the more preset mod. It tends to happen that when you have a male sim randomized for you in the game, they'll always come out with lips looking like this. And lips looking like this are really, really hard to work with. Like, I never really give my sims no lips, even though I myself have no lips. Trust me, you don't need to write in the comments. I already know I have white people lips. <laughs> but the thing is, they don't look that great on The Sims because I just don't really like it. I mean, obviously, like this would probably be about the smallest I would go on Sims, but I definitely always seem to give them a fuller lip. The only issue is with thin ones is the game doesn't actually allow you to pull them out too much. So I always tend to start with bigger lips and then work my way down if I want to like size them down at all. It's just way more easier to work with a bigger canvas. I always also tend to bring the sides of the lips down. I don't like my sims looking like they're smiling. I find it super awkward. So, especially on male sims, I will always bring the corners of their lips down. And I also like to keep it kind of in line with the chin. I usually make the chin a lot more defined than the lips as well. So that's pretty much how I create my sims lips. Again, start with a bigger canvas and work your way down. It's a lot easier to work with bigger lips at the beginning of create a sim rather than starting out with lips like this and then you really don't have much room to play with them. Jaws also seem to be a really big problem point for you guys when it comes to male sims. I definitely struggle with jaws. I tend to always go a little bit too on the chiseled 
side. Whereas this guy actually has a really nice jawline and it's a jawline I don't do very often. Again, I like to step out of my comfort zone. I do see one of the biggest complaints being that you can't get your Sims jawline to look defined and chiseled. The way you do that or the way that I personally do that is go into detail mode. So double click on your Sims jawline and then once in detail mode, drag it right out. So drag it to the left and drag that jawbone right out. It will give such definition. It kind of gives this squ square jaw effect. You can pull it up if you want to. You can pull it down for a really sharp edge. I never really tend to do it. I can tend to keep it like either up or halfway in between. Obviously that is one extreme of the scale and you can also never widen it. I think when people get square jaws into their heads, they think it should look like this. Don't widen it, just literally go into detail mode and make it look more square. Also for the squarer jaws, I tend to lift the jaws up a little bit. I don't have them super long. Whereas if I'm going for a more rounded jaw and something that isn't as defined. So say if we bring his jaw up to here, he has a much softer jawline right now. If I'm going for something like this, I'll tend to bring it in a little bit and then I'll also lengthen it just to add some definition to his chin rather than his jawline. So that's how I focus on my jaws. If you have any specific questions about any of the points that I am hitting, leave them in the comment section because I love talking about Creator Sim. It's one of my favorite things to do in The Sims 4 and I genuinely just love creating Sims and talking about creating Sims. So if there's anything you actually want me to talk about or go into detail about more, then ask me down in the comment section. And also help your fellow Simmers. If you see someone asking about something that you think you do quite well, tell them, feel free. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the face. I know a few of you were saying you find it really hard to diversify your Sims. And the biggest pointer I can give for that is, again, try to find models. Try to find models of the ethnicity that you are basing your Sim upon and work from there. You, you really, you really will take inspiration from them. With my male eyes, I definitely tend to go smaller than bigger. I feel like some simmers have this like thing where all their sims will have really big eyes, whereas my art choice is to have male sims, especially with smaller eyes. I just think they look a bit more realistic. I always tend to go for smaller eyes on my male sims. I just like the way it looks on the boys. I think he's super duper cute. One of the really big issues were hairstyles, which I get why you guys struggle if you don't use custom content. I mean, it's definitely tough if you don't use custom content because I do feel like a lot of the male hairs look very similar to one another. There's a lot of short or like wavy hairs with short sides and back. Like obviously it's gonna be the case that's the modern hairstyle. That seems to be a hairstyle that a lot of guys have these days, but it is quite different to make your sim stand out with those hairs. But if you guys are looking for some custom content for your male sims, cause I know a few of you were saying the same about clothing as well, which I will go into more depth about clothing later on in this video. But if you are looking for male custom content, I'm gonna leave a link down below to my CC finds. I pride myself on finding male custom content because I personally love creating male sims. I actually prefer it to creating females. So a lot of my CC shopping is trying to find stuff for the males. And again, a lot of these hairs are the same, 
but they're kind of EA versions that have been edited to not be quite so dramatic. So the CC creator tends to like take volume off. The CC hairs for men just seem to be a little less dramatic and a little easier to use in everyday situations. So I will leave a link to my males tag on my Tumblr so you guys can go check it out. You can download some hairstyles, download some clothes that I use in my game. And honestly, if you're not feeling a sim, try and put them in a hairstyle that you don't use that frequently. One of my personal favorites right now is the Strangerville hair. This is actually a custom content based upon the Strangerville hair that came for like, I called it the grandma hair, but I genuinely love it on male sims. And I would never really think to put this hair on a male sim. I don't really see that many males walking around with this hairstyle these days, but that's what I like about it. It's something a little bit different. It's something I would never really use. And if you're kind of getting bored of the way a sim looks, change their hairstyle. It can change up their look so much. So that's pretty much all I have to say about the kind of facial structure. Oh, there was one thing. Someone asked about cheekbones. I always tend to focus on cheeks in edit detail mode. Like if I want a sim to have a square jaw, I will obviously bring that out and then I'll kind of bring their jowls in. This also affects the height of the jaw. So I tend to go quite skinny and then I'll just bring out the cheekbones. I'll try not to exactly exaggerate it too much unless like I want the sim looking like a super chiseled athletic sim, which I feel is a trap that people fall into a lot. When you create a male sim, you're like, okay, he has to be super defined and super chiseled and cheekbones and jawline for days. And I feel like a lot of people fall into the trap of creating very athletic looking male sims. And then they all end up looking the same because every single guy looks like an athletic, outgoing, really hot abs that look like a Greek god and kind of a fuck boy all rolled into one. Excuse my language. But that's the trap that a lot of people tend to fall into. So just try not to make, and this is a point that I also want to make, Try not to make only sims that you can see yourself being attracted to or are attracted to in real life. Because if you do that, if you just make these attractive sims that only you are attracted to, they're also probably gonna look really similar because that's your type. Everyone has a type, but try to go out of your comfort zone every so often or else your sims really are all gonna look the same as each other because you have this concept in your brain that you want the sim to live up to and then you're like, oh, I just ended up with another sculpted king who looks like the quarterback on the American football team. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to use like references here. You'll end up with a Chad Michael Murray. If you are as much of a fan of a Cinderella story as I am, you will get that reference. All your Sims will be looking like Chad Michael Murray if you do that. And I know I've talked a lot in this video, but I swear guys, this is like the last point I'm gonna make and it's about clothing. A lot of you got back to me on that question um, and said that you find it really hard to style your guys differently, which I completely agree with. And someone actually mention the male model and that's the way your sim actually looks and I completely agree with this. I've agreed with this point since base game was released. This is an issue I have personally struggled with which is why a lot of the time I will make athletic looking guys because their body shape is much more achievable and also I don't want to use the word realistic but it doesn't clip as much as a body type like this, for example. I don't know what it is about the male mod model in The Sims 4 Creator Sim, but as you can see here, this part looks all right. This side looks absolutely fine. Whereas this side has always 
literally since the base game if you make it any bigger than like this waist it clips so much and when you put like a t-shirt on him so let me just stick like quite a fitted t-shirt on him it genuinely just doesn't look good because it clips into the arm of the sim and I really wish this could be fixed. I don't even know what it is about it but I feel like it's just an error they've had in the game since the very beginning because this one just has so much more space between it whereas his arm is literally clipping into his pec and then if you make his pecs any bigger it just gets worse so i always feel like i go for athletic sims because it's not quite as easy to spot that whereas if you have a sim with say more of a dad bod who's wearing a jumper it makes it look as if they're like crouched over and the male model just isn't great. I have to say it. The male model is really difficult to work with in Creator Sim. So I understand the frustration of making your sim look good. I mean, if you can ignore that, then I guess you there wouldn't be that much of an issue. But to me, it just looks so weird. And it kind of just throws off the look of so many clothes so i understand the frustrations with the male model and again i feel like that's why people go for athletic sims a lot more because if you add i mean again with a little bit of weight on the sim it actually doesn't look too bad um but if you make like a kind of a like slim guy it chops so much and i wish this would get fixed i wish this was an issue that could be fixed. I don't even know if it can be or not. But that definitely does have an effect on how your male sims will look. But when it comes to clothing and like trying to make your sims look different, I would always say have kind of a style in mind that you want to go for. Recently, I've been super into the vintage look for guys. So I've downloaded like a lot of shirts and I've definitely been into formal wear more recently. So I feel like this does kind of go off the fashion that you are currently interested in. Like, for example, I'm really liking the smart casual kind of look. I know a lot of you were saying that you always tend to put them in like athletic wear or just the same types of tops. Whereas I've been loving shirts like this, for example. Again, custom content does have a lot to play when choosing an outfit and like I said I do try and find the best male custom content pieces so definitely check out my tumblr I know this seems like one big promotion for my cc finds but if you are looking for more male custom content it really is a big love of mine to try and find those creators that are creating more content for the boys because let's be real the boys need it and I really really appreciate that there are some incredible incredible CC creators out there who are making custom content for the boys. This shirt right here is one of my very favorites to use right now. This tends to be like the vintage style that I go for and then I instead of throwing a pair of jeans on a sim I'll instead throw on a pair of suit trousers just to make them look a little bit smarter or like some baggy jeans that I would never usually throw on a male sim. Like I flipping love his style he looks so cool throw a pair of glasses on him and he looks so different to so many sims that i see people create like look how cool is he <laughs> it really is that simple and i really think when it comes to dressing your sims you need to find a style that you are either really liking at the minute or you need to figure out the sims style and kind of base it upon that. Like if you have a sim who's a dad, maybe dress him in like cozy little cardigans and something maybe a little bit formal. For example, a dad could wear an outfit like this. Still cool, very relevant to these days, but he's like a cool dad instead of a dad who wears sweater vests and cardigans. 
or if you're creating a more geeky type of sim, then don't be afraid to put them in hoodies, but don't always rely on hoodies and jeans. Or if you do rely on jeans, Download some jeans that we don't really have in the game. Download some baggier trousers that you would probably see guys rocking in like the 90s and just go out of your comfort zone a little bit. Don't just fall into jeans or athletic wear. That's the biggest downfall I feel is for most people is just going back to the same outfits that you always choose for male sims. Don't be afraid to let your male sims wear fashionable and like a little bit out there clothing. Again, this is much harder for those of you who unfortunately cannot download custom content, but the biggest piece of advice I can give is to listen to a sim's style. Decide on their personality, decide on their traits, and let the traits kind of dictate what they would wear. I always find that super helpful to focus on. So that pretty much ties up this video. I think I've discussed the main points of how to create a male sim. I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, also, real quickly, if you want to know which skins I am using right now, because I know a lot of people have trouble finding skins for The Sims 4, I use the Night default skin. Again, this is all on my custom content Tumblr. And I am using male fol fol I'm sorry, my French is super rusty, but I really like this skin at the minute. And obviously I still use Usmooth a lot of the time because those overlays will constantly be in my game. So I'm really into this one right now and also the soft peach blend, although I've been using this one a lot more recently. So yeah, that's what I'm using on my Sims right now. But I hope this video helped you guys. I know there was a lot of talking and a lot to take in, but I hope it helped. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions. If you struggle with anything else when it comes to making male sims, then please do let me know and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability, I promise. And thank you to everyone who got back to me on both my Instagram and my community page, because I couldn't have done this video without you guys letting me know your problems. So big thank you to everyone who got involved. If you would like to see a video on maybe female sims next and how I make my female sims, which I struggle with a lot more than my males because I definitely have same face syndrome when it comes to the girls of my game. <laughs> but if you would like me to maybe try and cover female sims, then please do let me know. If you enjoyed this video and you aren't yet subscribed to my channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I promise I don't bite unless you maybe want me to. And then, then we can discuss it. Slide into my DMs. But thank you all so much for tuning in. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you. And I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye guys.